Welcome, my name is Brad Prather. I'm with DWD Technology Group, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to enter a transaction that posts to both the general ledger and the bank reconciliation module. For example, you may transfer money from your regular checking account to your payroll account in order to cover the weekly payroll. I'm going to show you how to use the transaction journal entry in General Ledger to enter that transaction so it affects both the General Ledger and the Bank Reconciliation Module. The first step is to go to General Ledger, set up Source Journal Maintenance, and I'm going to recommend that you set up a specific source journal for this particular transaction. In my case, I set one up called BT called it bank transfer. Make sure you do choose financial as the journal type. And if you would like to enter the next journal number or something other than one, you can certainly do that, or you can just leave that at one. I'm going to click on accept. And then I'm going to go to the general ledger main folder. So if I scroll up here, go to the main and transaction journal entry. What you'll want to do is you'll want to select the source journal that you just created, in this case, bank transfer, and you're going to want to select the next entry number. Now, you'll need to click on the format button in the upper right-hand corner, and that will take you to the transaction journal format screen. From here, you will choose the offset account, in this case, since I am transferring money from the checking, I am choosing that as my offset. That brings in the description. And since it is being transferred from, it is a credit. And that is because this particular screen is based on how it affects the general ledger and not your bank. So do not get confused with a bank credit versus a general ledger credit. This is based on the general ledger and since we are transferring money from the checking, it will be a credit. In the transaction type, you want to choose bank transfer. And down in the lower half, then you'll want to choose the appropriate bank codes. In my case, bank code A is the checking, and bank code B is the payroll checking. I'm going to accept that. I could put in any comment here that I wanted to. I will add that I am doing this for the payroll uh, ending 06 of 15 of 2020, and I'm going to post that on 6-15-2020. That gives me a message that is a future period in my particular general ledger. That's fine. I will say okay. You will need to enter a transfer number, so if you have a number from the bank, you can enter that in here. Or you can just make up a number uh, that you like. And one suggestion would be to enter the date in here as another option. I'm next going to go to the Lines tab. You'll notice that it brought in bank code B. Here again, I have a, the option to enter that number that I entered on the header tab, or I can make a number up. My date, there is my payroll account. And now what I need to do is enter the amount of the transfer. And of course, if you want to enter a further comment, you are free to do so and type in whatever it is you like there. I'm going to accept this entry. I'm going to click on the printer button to print my journal and update it. As you know, in stage 100, that is a requirement to post this particular transaction. I have paperless office turned on, so it will create a PDF copy of this document for me. As you can see here, it's going to credit my regular checking account and debit my payroll account. So I'm going to close the PDF and tell the system that I want to update it. Now, if I go back into account inquiry, and if I go to my regular checking account and make my fiscal year 2020, since that's what I posted the transaction to, I should be able to scroll down here to June the 15th and I should see my credit to the regular checking account. And if I go to my payroll account and scroll down, I will see my 
debit, so I have affected the general ledger. And then if I go down here to my bank reconciliation module and go into check deposit and adjustment entry and look at those same accounts, bank code A, and go to my deposit and adjustment, you will see my $10,000 withdrawal transfer from on 615. And if I go to the checking account, there's the deposit for that $10,000 coming in on that same date. So with one entry, I was able to affect both the general ledger and the bank reconciliation. I appreciate you taking time to watch this video. If you have any further questions, please don't hesitate to call us here at DWD Technology Group. That number is 800-232-8913. And you can ask to speak to one of our SAGE 100 consultants. Thanks, and enjoy the rest of your day.